Hey gang, it's your boy Tony Goat. Uh, this episode, we're going to break down the Nebraska Colorado game. But before I get into anything, Colorado, I got to get this out there. Um, Jeff Sims, you are a piss poor quarterback, bro. Like, um, a lot of the things I would say, guys, is going to be contradictory because, yes, I do feel Colorado's defense was much improved. But at the same time, if Jeff Sims was a competent quarterback, I feel this would have been a much better game. I mean, the first half, guys, Nebraska's defense was doing their thing, uh, and Nebraska was moving the ball up and down the field. It was just every time Jeff Sims would do something to stink it up. Two fumbles and a pick, a horrible pick that should have never been through towards the end of the first half. Um, you should not have came back out for the second half, bro. And that's just being dead ass. So no, no way you should have started that second half. Shador, Shador Sanders is a prodigy, guys. This guy, he has the poise. He's got the A. Hey, as my boy said in Ghostbusters, we got the tools, we got the talent. Hey, we have the tools, we have the talent. That is Shador Sanders. Like, he is poised. He's making plays out there. Um, it was this one, this one out route with a little spread action where he threw this thing on a rope, a frozen rope, as Gus Johnson said. I remember that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But he, he like, did a little, little sprint action to the left and just, in the way, I'm telling you guys, this guy's the real deal. Uh, he been a real deal his whole life, though. I remember watching him, him at Texas uh, Trinity um, on YouTube. They used to have a YouTube series. Coach probably was, like, I think Coach probably might have been an offensive coordinator. He was a quarterback. Then obviously at Jackson State, obviously now at Colorado. This guy's been a real deal. Uh, 31 of 42, 393 yards, two touchdowns, and <laughs> two passing touchdowns, and one big thing that I did like, he had a rushing, top, rushing touchdown where he hit the prime dance. You know, hey, you know the rules. If you do the dance, man, you got you to gotta be a big dog to do that dance, man. Can't no scrubs just come in and score a touchdown during the prime dance. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your pops or not. So to, to see him hit the prime dance, it was, it was beautiful, man. The kid's a prodigy. And it was another play that didn't count. But the two-point conversion, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. The two-point conversion where he's, it looked like a mad look like Madden. I guess I can't get mad at EA Sports anymore because I guess it's somewhat realistic. Yeah, right. No, but seriously, this play, he, he's, he's going, he's dropping back and these guys are he's falling all over him. He's losing yards, losing yards. And like, bro, what are you doing? And then at the last second, he gets this ball off and it's like, man, it, 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 it looked like the receiver caught it, but it bounced off the ground. But it was just a hell of a play. Uh, very amazing. But one thing I will say, the first half, Nebraska's secondary held up. Nebraska's secondary that first, that's why I'm saying, guys, if Jeff was a little bit better, just a, a competent quarterback, the way Nebraska's secondary came out, it wasn't the big plays like versus TCU from the receivers. Now, Travis Hunter did have a couple of nice catches. Um, what's the kid's name? Uh, Xavier Weaver, he went off. But... That first half, it was pretty. It was one play where you could. It was another play like the two play conversion. And, and Shador was dropping back, and he's back in the backfield, dropping back, losing yards, making people miss, making people miss. And I'm like, damn, bro, you just throw the ball. Somebody gotta be open now. And on the they showed the replay right after, and literally nobody was open. Like, so I had to say, damn, Nebraska. Okay, I can't even knock you. One thing I will say, Shador. He does take some sacks that I feel he shouldn't take. It's some it's some sacks with with these aren't there. I feel he should she he should throw the ball away. Um, but if that's fixable, he just you can tell he just has supreme confidence in his talents and he's trying to make a play. But you got to be smart football wise to get rid of that ball instead of taking a sack. Uh, I think one of them might have knocked him out of field goal range. I mean, or you know, put him where they had to go for a field goal instead of go for it so yeah uh let's talk about the two, uh, two-sided two-sided koi uh travis hunter um what do you say 126 snaps this game <laughs> uh he had three receptions 73 yards i mean 
he made a cut one of the plays where he caught the ball he like stopped on a dime made the guy miss picked up some more yardage i was like wow this kid's it's changing direction and that's one thing i look for being able to stop and not lose your momentum and start back up again you know what i'm saying and that's big time uh he had four total tackles one pass breakup like i said 126 snaps um just a pretty pretty style performance overall nothing spectacular but i can't say nothing spectacular when you're playing 126 snaps it's kind of unprecedented you played 144 snaps last week in 100 plus degree weather this type of stuff is for lack of a better word legendary um now let's get into xavier weaver not not dylan Edwards this week Xavier Weaver, and that's something to look at. These guys, you might see Jimmy Hoare Jr. one week. You might see Dylan Evers one week. Travis Hunter might go off. You never know where it's coming from. And Xavier Weaver, 10 receptions, 170 yards of the touchdown. That was a big-time performance. That's what you want to look at from your receiver. That's what the NFL want to see. That's big-time. Um, and so next, I want to get into the defense um, like I said, this is kind of contradictory. I know it sounds crazy what I'm saying because, yes, the defense was improved, but I believe if just was was somewhat capable, this would have been a lot better game. Uh, but um, the secondary, like I said said earlier, they gave up some, some catches in the first half and they gave up some yak where it looked, like I said, Nebraska was moving the ball. Um, one thing I said I wanted to see was a, was a better pass rush Still only two sacks. So, again, much more improvement there. I think they had about four or five with Shador, Nebraska did. So, you would like to see them put more pressure on the quarterback. Um, but you, you get four turnovers. You know what I'm saying? Three fumble recoveries. Uh, interception. You know what I'm saying? How can I really knock you? You know, I can't. Um, but, again, a better quarterback, I think this is a closer game. And they had a lot of sloppy penalties, man. Nine penalties for 80 yards. Um, a couple sloppy personal personal fouls, 15 yarders. You know what I'm saying? Some things they got to get cleaned up. Probably get that cleaned up, I'm sure. Uh, what else do I want to touch on? Again, I said last game was a recruiting tool. This game is a recruiting tool. The celebrities were out. T.O., the playmaker, Unc Shea Sharp, Stephen A. Smith, uh, you had Ghost for a power, <laughs> Amari Harwick. You had Cam. And I'm pretty sure I saw Rayquad the chef. I'm almost positive I saw Rayquad the chef. <laughs> <in> the... <laughs> I'm almost positive I saw Rayquad the chef, man. I think that was him. I saw somebody in the Wu-Tang shirt. Not saying that wasn't Rayquad. But then I saw Cam was on um, the Outsider Jr. Uh, YouTube playing the uh, table tennis thing. And I'm pretty sure Ray, Ray Quad the Chef was sitting next to the table watching the game. So if you check out that well off media on YouTube, let me know what y'all think. I'm almost positive that was him. Um, but like I said, guys, this game is a recruiting tool. You see all these guys coming out to check Coach Prime? Oh, I can get tip, tips from T.O.? Oh, I can get tips from Michael Irvin? Two of the greatest receivers to ever touch a football? I can get tips from Prime? The greatest corner to ever touch a football? I want to go to the next level. Oh, Warren Sapp's been coming to practice? Holy smokes. You know what I'm saying? Akshay Sharp? Who's like royalty in Colorado? Oh, I can learn from one of the best tight ends? Yeah, bro. It's real. You think these kids aren't seeing this? You think these kids don't want to go to the next level? You think these kids don't want to don't see these guys coming in? You think these kids don't see this program being elevated from 1 and 11 to already double their wins in two weeks? You think they don't want to come play for him? Somebody knows, some quarterback out there is licking his chops knowing Shador is about to be out of there in a year or two and it's going to be my show. So, like I said, guys, another impressive performance. Uh, Coach Prime, yes, I believe. Yes, you are coming. Pause. <laughs> That's cabin base. Don't think I'm stealing any stuff. That's cabin base, but that was a pretty pause. That was pretty suspect of me to say. So, but yeah. So Colorado's back. We'll see how it shakes out. Week three, they got the in-state rivalry, Colorado State. And then we start getting into the meats and potatoes of the schedule. We got you got Oregon and you got uh USC in the next three weeks. So Colorado State, Oregon, USC. We'll see how it shakes out. 
we'll see how Colorado looks after that. Um, peace out. It's your boy, Tony Goat. Yeah.